today we are playing as Turkey and continuing our campaign. We're in mid-1943 and we are kind of in a pickle here, not gonna lie. Our ally Germany is trying to push against the Soviet Union, but they are not doing very well. This part of the front seems to be in a standstill. Meanwhile, the Union is on all adult serve, so their manpower is running out quickly, but they still have three million more before they head up to scraping the barrel. We are in a bit of a difficult situation. We have retreated back to our defense line here, but the supply is not great. In order to help that, I am trying to build some infrastructure right here, but I'm not sure how much it'll help. Meanwhile, on our western front, the Soviets have tons of divisions just waiting to go against our small amount. We do have some divisions hanging out in the mountains here, so hopefully their entrenchment will be our backup line. Meanwhile, resources wise, we have all the oil we could ever want, but not much uh, not much of anything else. So we'll see how we how we do. We have been slightly pushed back in the west here. Anytime the Soviets make an offensive, we're pretty much screwed. But we are holding at our backup line. The Germans are still holding on, although they seem to be getting pushed back slightly by Romania, which is a bit concerning. Aside from that, though, not much has changed, and we're just kind of holding out. Whoa, hold on. I think we just won against the Soviet Union. I've been sitting here watching our various fronts, just watching the Soviets tick up in casualties, and all of a sudden, Japan has declared war on the Soviet Union. That is quite the revelation. Hopefully they're successful. The poor Union really is just getting beat up over here. The Japanese have little to no resistance. I'm beginning to make some pushes in the west here. Just trying to expand my territory wherever I can that won't increase our line too much. Maybe just up to this attack line. Our western advance is looking really good so far. Our supply just basically flipped to, to being okay. And so we might actually try and push up to these two rivers once more. We can see some staggering numbers here. 12.2 to 12.5 million versus 4.2 to 4.3 million. We've pretty much gotten to our objective now. The front lines are getting messed up, so I think I'm just going to extend the initial push up to the two rivers as we previously mentioned. And it's probably time we go to service by requirement. We're getting low on manpower. Soviet resistance is pretty much crumbling everywhere. They do have a pretty much solidified front against us in the east, um, but they can't really push. In the west, their front is crumbling. We're almost at our objective, and we might even go ahead and take Sevastopol. And in Germany, look at that. There's pretty much no one there, so the Germans should be pushing fairly quickly. And then in the east, once again, there's not too many divisions. That's quite a few divisions against my 22. And we're not at our target yet. And so what I'm trying to do is have these divisions spread out and take this, this island so that way we can reshuffle them over to this front. Alright, so we finished off the island with Sevastopol. Now we are going to reshuffle the majority of these divisions and try to push to our front line and I figure we'll do half at a time. So I've been spending quite a lot of time trying to reshuffle this front a little bit and clean it up. I've pretty much dislodged the Soviet influence in this corner of the map, I would say. 
And then I'm going to reshuffle these 13 divisions over here and then push up to Stalingrad. Overall, I think the Japanese involvement in this war is really turning things around for us. And I also think it's probably time we begin pushing in the east slightly. And with those last few provinces taken, our objective has been completed, especially on, on this left side of our western front. And so now I've reshuffled my 11 divisions to go ahead and attack on the eastern side of our western front. Meanwhile, I do have these divisions set to sort of automatically attack, but I'm not quite sure what they're doing here, so I don't know. We'll see how they do. And we're already sort of encroaching on Stalingrad here. Okay, and we just finished taking out the last province in our original attack plan. Now we just need to take Stalingrad and try and hold that. Not sure how possible it will be though. I don't think it's going to be possible to take Stalingrad. They have a level 10 fort. I'm trying to make my way around the city now. It is looking difficult. And we have cut off the city. Perfect. Now with Stalingrad surrounded, we should be able to take it. Our flanks are pretty weak so i'd like to take care of stalingrad as quickly as possible ah look at them pushing out from the pocket let's wait till this division comes in okay now we need to rush into stalingrad that was way easier than expected thank you whoa is that a lot of partisans or what and now japan has joined the axis so our two factions have joined into one. There was a huge partisan uprising in the in, in Stalingrad, which yeah, lots of casualties. And we finally took out the city. And with Stalingrad taken, the Soviets did push me back one or two provinces, but our front line has been reorganized and I think we should be able to hold and so I think we're just gonna hunker down where we are pretty much and let time roll, head into 1945, and see where that leads us. Uh, they've broken through right here, and I kind of need them to not break through. Okay, I am really trying my best to stop their advance, but it's just not going very well. Alright, we have pretty much stabilized this part of the front. Thankfully, we took care of that uh, unfortunate event, and now we're good. Okay, that's dumb. That seems to be an event. Okay, I have retaken that uh, event that the Soviets got, and luckily it didn't cost us anything. Um, we did it quickly enough to where our troops weren't suffering too much attrition, and so we are all good. So without the support of our allies, there's not much else we can do here. A push would not be wise really anywhere. Although the Japanese are pretty much covering our front. So we may be able to redirect these divisions soon. With Japan's progress though, this does pretty much seem like the end of the Soviet Union. Japan just cannot be stopped. And I think it's time we take these divisions, move them to our western front as quickly as possible. And in doing so, we'll be able to start an additional push in the west and hopefully get some more war participation. So currently we're surrounded by two allies who have just decided, hmm, we're gonna push to the end. And so therefore, I think we also need to be doing the same, keeping the pressure up gonna reshuffle our divisions a bit get them on their front lines and then begin pushing this is pretty much the end of the Soviet Union and our two fronts have now linked up as well Soviets are so close to capitulating, we literally just need Moscow. I think I'm going to reroute these 22 divisions up to take Moscow. Since they keep getting cut off by Japan, it's probably for the best. Oh, there we go. And of course we have to retake parts that were already owned by us. Yay! Okay, let's see what it looks like. The new world. Eh, not too bad, except for this right here, but... Aside from that, not too shabby. The land we got was mostly oil-filled. 
I believe. Yeah. So we're in control of a lot of the world's oil. If we just kind of zoom back here, we can see quite a bit of oil is ours. Meanwhile, if we look at the globe, I had to reload the game. And so apparently Japan's not in the Axis anymore, but that's okay. And the Soviet Union is also still a thing, but I will probably just have them be annexed into Japan because that's kind of annoying. And with the, with the end of the Soviet Union, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this series a success. Nationalist Turkey, we did pretty well. The only other thing I wouldn't mind doing is taking over parts of Africa, but it's already October 1945, so I think maybe we should just kind of refresh the series, start something new. So let me know what you guys want, and I will definitely be scrolling through the comments and trying it out. So, anyways, until next week, take care, see you soon, bye-bye.